The story of Carol Wayne is a tragic one that has captivated audiences for decades. As a regular on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson in the 1970s, Carol became a beloved figure to millions of viewers across the country. Her stunning looks, quit wit, and effortless charm made her a fan favorite and a staple of late night television. But behind the scenes, Carol's life was far from glamorous. She struggled with addiction and personal demons, and her relationship with Johnny Carson was complicated, to say the least. Despite her immense talents and undeniable charisma, Carol's career and personal life spiraled out of control, leading to her untimely and heartbreaking death at the age of 42. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating and heartbreaking story of Carol Wayne, exploring her rise to fame on The Tonight Show, her complicated relationship with Johnny Carson, and the tragic circumstances that led to her sad and premature ending. Carol Wayne was born on a bright September day in 1942 in Chicago, Illinois, United States. From a young age, Carol was drawn to the world of entertainment, and as a teenager, she began her journey as a figure skater. Alongside her younger sister, Nina Wayne, the two of them performed in traveling ice skating shows called the Ice Capades. Their performances were well received and they quickly gained a following. The Wayne sisters' talents soon caught the attention of the entertainment community in Nevada. They were invited to become showgirls at the Cabaret Music Hall Folie Bergeret in the Tropicana Resort and Strip located on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada. It was a huge opportunity for the sisters and they were thrilled to be a part of it. In the mid-1960s, Nina made the move to Hollywood in pursuit of acting roles. Surprisingly, Carol followed soon after, and the two sisters began looking for opportunities in the entertainment industry. Through hard work and determination, they successfully auditioned for multiple television shows. In 1963, Carol Wayne landed a recurring role on the popular variety show, The Red Skelton Hour, which aired on Columbia Broadcasting System. Her infectious personality and impeccable comedic timing quickly made her a fan favorite. Three years later, Carol appeared on an episode of the spy fiction television series, The Man from Uncle, as Ginger Lavere. Her performance was well received, and she went on to guest star as Shelia in an episode of the spin off series, The Girl from Uncle. In 1967, Carol took on the titular role of Temple in an episode of the national broadcasting company Secret Agent Television Adventure series, I Spy. Her portrayal of the character in the episode titled Trouble with Temple earned her critical acclaim. Carol's talent as an actress allowed her to guest star on several other popular television series such as I Dream of Jeannie in 1967, Bewitched in 1969, and The Fall Guy in 1981. Carol Wayne continued to make her mark in the entertainment industry. In 1970, she was seen in a few episodes of the popular national broadcasting company comedy variety show The Red Skelton Show. Following this, she portrayed various roles in six episodes of the American Broadcasting Company comedy anthology series Love American Style between 1970 and 1972. Carol also appeared in movies. She played Ernestine in the mystery film Gun in 1967 directed by Blake Edwards and starring Craig Stevens. She followed it up with another appearance in an Edwards directed comedy film titled The Party. During this time, Carol was working as a chorus girl in the Las Vegas show business circles. It was at one of these parties where she caught the attention of the Tonight Show host, Johnny Carson. Impressed with her charisma, Carson invited her to audition for a role on the show. Carol gave a successful audition and was hired for the show, becoming one of its most famous regular guests. Her appearances on the show remain some of her most remembered moments as an entertainer. Carol Wayne's rise to fame began when she landed the role of the matinee lady on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. From 1971 to 1984, she appeared in over a hundred episodes of the popular show, perfecting her ditzy and plump character that was featured in the show's Art Fern's Tea Time movie sketches. Despite the brimming sexual innuendos, Carol's portrayal of the matinee lady made her a fan favorite, and she became synonymous with the role. Johnny Carson even took the matinee lady character off the air for a year after Carol's untimely passing, 
as no one could imagine anyone else in the role. However, as they say, the show must go on, and Johnny Carson cast Danuta Wesley as the next matinee lady, followed by Teresa Ganzel. The Tonight Show provided Carol with a quantum leap in her popularity, and she received multiple roles during her stint with Johnny Carson. Carol appeared in various game shows like Man Trap and Hollywood Squares. She also appeared frequently as a member of the panel in Celebrity Sweepstakes. Carol Wayne made her final appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson on January 24, 1984, just a year before her untimely death. However, it was also the same year that Carol posed naked for Playboy magazine, marking one of her boldest acts. Coincidentally, 1984 was also the year that Carol filed for bankruptcy, leading to her financial downfall. Her reduced on-screen time on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson from 90 minutes to 60 minutes was seen as a contributing factor to her career decline. But it was Carol's role as Ginger, the spunky cruise director on the popular show The Love Boat, that made her a television icon. From 1977 to 1984, she portrayed the character of Ginger with a perfect blend of humor and heart, becoming one of the most beloved characters of the show. The Love Boat aired for 10 seasons and helped to make Carol Wayne a household name. Her portrayal of Ginger cemented her status as a television icon and she will always be remembered for her contribution to the entertainment industry. One of her notable roles was as Doreen in the 1982 family film Savannah Smiles and she also starred as Candy in the 1984 drama film Heartbreakers which was showcased at the 35th Berlin International Film Festival. It marked Carol's last on-screen appearance as an actor. She also appeared in other movies, including the 1979 comedy Scavenger Hunt and the 1984 independent comedy film Surf 2. Carol had a colorful personal life and was married thrice. Her first marriage was to Loretto Larry Serra in May 1965, which ended in a divorce in June 1967. After two years, she married American rock music photographer Barry Feinstein on February 17, 1969, and they had a son named Alex Feinstein in 1970. Unfortunately, this marriage also ended in a divorce in 1974. On December 28, 1975, Carol married American film and television producer Burt Sugarman. However, this marriage also hit a rough patch and ended in a divorce on December 24, 1980. Carol Wayne's life came to a tragic end in January 1985 in mysterious circumstances. She was vacationing in Santiago Bay, Mexico with her then partner, Edward Durston, staying at the Las Hadas Resort in Manzanillo, Colima. Carol had a heated argument with Durston and decided to go for a walk on the beach. Unfortunately, she did not return from the walk, and after two days of searching, she was reported missing. On the third day, a local found her body on the beach. The cause of Carol's death remains a mystery to this day. Despite the absence of any evidence of intoxication or foul play, the circumstances surrounding her death are still the subject of much discussion. Many speculate that her death was accidental, but no official reason has ever been given. It was a sad end to the life of a talented actress who had entertained millions and made her mark in the world of television and film. Rest in peace and goodbye, Carol Wayne.